Let's get more out of our Christmas stencils, shall we? In today's video, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to show you how I took this zigzag tree stencil from Hero Arts and turned it into a birthday card. With a few simple color changes, flipping our design, we can get a whole new look, but be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'm sharing even more inspiration. Here's a look at the zigzag tree stencil from Hero Arts, which you can see when properly positioned is Christmas trees. But what I'm going to do is flip that so it's upside down. And to me, this looks like party banners, which would make a great birthday card. So I have a piece of deluxe white cardstock from Hero Arts cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm holding the stencil down over that with my magnets on my make art station. Then I start at the top by blending azalea ink, which is that nice bright pink. Next, I'm going to come in with a spicy mustard and blend that over the area, kind of going up into the pink to create that shade of orange in between. Next, I have a green apple. Once again, going over that with a blending brush. Now, if I were to do blue into yellow, I would get a green, but I really wanted that green to stand out. So that is why I brought in that additional color. Now I have Bermuda and this is more of a teal. So I'm not only flipping the design, but I'm really changing up the colors. Yes, it's kind of a rainbow minus the purple, but I also changed the shade of the colors. Now, one of my favorite things to do with stencil designs is going back over the area with those same colors, mainly because that's personal preference. I don't like a stark white background. So this just kind of helps give it more of a warm feel. Now, once I have that done, I am going to turn this and you're going to be able to see how this is party banners. But when you flip it, it's Christmas trees. So this was purely accident that I kind of saw this in this design, but it does stretch the use of my stencil. I'm going to be using a previously released stamp set. This is the Let's Celebrate. And I picked a birthday sentiment off of that. I'm lining that into the middle of my card with my Misty rulers. And then I'm going to stamp this in the Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink. Once I stamp that down for a nice crisp sentiment, I'm going to add a few sequins around my sentiment and off screen, I do add some of the white pearls into the center of my sequins. So that finishes off this card project where I'm taking that Christmas stencil and turning it into a whole new theme. But I do want to show you the original card I made. This is where it is turned right side up and I used more traditional rainbow colors. So you can see by just making those few simple changes, how it completely changes the theme of the card. Now here's a look at another card project I have. I have more over on my blog as well, but this is celebrating the new holiday release from Hero Arts, including hot foil plates, which I absolutely love creating with. And I will have some videos in the future with more cards from the release. So be sure to stop by my blog for more inspiration from the catalog and join in the blog hop where we're celebrating the release with giveaways and tons of inspiration. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Here are a few other videos I think you might like.